This video is going to be a walkthrough of how to handle a multi-winding transformer. When we're dealing with multi-winding transformers, we've got to deal with the turns ratio. And we're going to get that based off of this 13.8 kV to 120 volt rating here. Because again, it's winding to winding ratio. Now you notice we have up here, we have 102.5%, we have 100%, 97.5%, and 95%. Those percentages we're going to apply to our turns ratio. We are not going to apply them to the voltages. It's very common for people to want to apply them to the voltages. We're not going to do that. In my method, we're going to first off figure out what our 100% ratio is. And our 100% ratio is based off of the 13.8 kV to 120 volts. So our turns ratio works out to be 115 to 1 based off of 13,800 divided by 120 volts gives us the 115 to 1. This ratio is what we're basing everything else off of. What we're going to do now is we're going to take 102.5% of 115 to get our next ratio, which works out to be 117.9 to 1. Again, all we did was take 115 and multiply it by 102.5% or 1.025. We're going to do that for the next one. So we'll apply 115 to 97.5% and 115 to 95% to get the other two ratios as well. So there we have our other ratios. So again, just to recap, because it's very important, we take the 100% ratio first. We get that by going 13,800 divided by 120 to get the 115 to 1 turns ratio. Then we base these other taps off of that 100% tap. So 115, I go 115 times 1.025 to get 117.9. I take 115 times 0.975 to get 112.1. And I take 115 times 0.95 to get 109.3. These ratios are the ratios we're going to be watching for, and it's very important that we understand where they are. So the first thing I always do is I always, on a piece of paper, take my taps here, and I put the ratios up somewhere else so I have reference to them. Now remember when we're dealing with a multi-winding transformer, multi-tap on the top there, we are decreasing our number of turns for the most part. I know we have this guy here but let's talk about these two here. As we decrease our number of turns and the voltage up here on our primary stays the same, we increase our volts per turn. And remember volts per turn primary is equal to volts per turn secondary. So that's why we use these taps. If you want to increase your secondary voltage, because of a voltage terminal drop, because you've loaded your transformer, you go down on your taps. You do not go up, which is why, again, we use these ratings here. Let's apply a voltage to the primary and see how this happens. Let's apply 12 kV to the primary. And let's see what we get. I'm going to show you if we take the 100% ratio, what we get for the secondary. So if we use the 100% ratio, taking 12 kV, we're going to use... 115, so we're going to go 12,000 divided by 115 to get my secondary voltage, which is 104.3 volts. Not ideal. We would like to get closer to 120. We know that we can't go up because we've just discussed how we need to take our turns ratios and decrease them to increase our volts per turn, so we're going to use 97.5 or 95%. Let's try the 97.5% tap. I'm going to take 12 kV on my primary and divide it by 112.1 and see what we get. And we get 107 volts. So we're getting closer. Let's try the last one, the 95% tap. Let's see how close we can get to that 120 using the 95% tap. Again, we're going to take 12,000 kV divided by 109.3 to get a voltage of 110 volts. So you can see, as we're we're not at the 120 yet, we'd have to go down further on taps if we had them. But you're starting to see the method here that as we decrease our taps, our secondary voltage increases. That's how these things work. So that's working from our primary to our secondary. Let's talk about what would happen if I have a secondary voltage and we could work out what voltage was applied to the primary. Let's say that we have 120 volts measured on our secondary side we want to find out what voltage was applied to the 95% tap on the primary to get that. We're just working backwards, just like we've always done. So we're going to go 120, and we're going to look at the 95% ratio, which is 109.3 to 1. We're going to go 120 times 109.3 to 1, and we get 13,116 volts.
So it's just the same way we always dealt with. We just have to really pay attention to which ratio we're going to use. And the ratios we use are based completely off the taps. The next one, the last problem that we could come across in a situation like this, is if I give you the primary voltage and the secondary voltage, and I want you to tell me which tap we used. So in this situation, I know that my primary voltage is 12,880 volts. I know that I'm getting a secondary voltage of 112 volts. And I want to discover which of these taps am I using. This is very easy. It's a lot easier than it looks. Because all we have to do is figure out what our ratio is. We're going to take 12,880 and divide it by 112 volts. Let's do that first. We work out that with 12,880 volts divided by 112, we get a ratio of 115 to 1. We want to figure out which tap that is. Let's go back up to this little chart I've got up here. Which one is it? It's the 100% tap I'm using. That's how we're doing it. You just take, you work out your ratio and see which ratio lines up there, and we're good to go. That's multi-tap windings. They're not that difficult. Remember, just base them all off of the turns ratio. Figure out what your 100% ratio is based off your rating of the transformer. Then take each of these taps and apply them to the 100% ratio. It's all good after that. You follow those steps, you will have no problem at all with multi-windings. See you in the next video.